raise them high. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to the Red Elephant Art Club. I am so happy you're here. I have a really fun project planned for you today. One of my favorite memories during the fall is to go to an apple orchard. I had no idea there were so many different kinds of apples. We would wander around the apple orchard and try all the different kinds of apples, then gather up a big bag full of apples and take it home and make an apple pie. So yummy. Anyway, I've got a book here. It's called Johnny Appleseed. And if you haven't read this, you need to listen to Miss Carrie. She's reading the story on our Sunshine Storytime. You can find it on our YouTube channel here, okay? Or you can buy the book too. It is a really good story and it tells you all about Johnny Appleseed and how he traveled across the United States planting apple seeds. So we would not have nearly as many apple trees if it hadn't been for Mr. Johnny. Anyway, I want you to gather your supplies up. We're gonna do something really fun and different this time. We're gonna use a canvas. Okay, if you don't have one, you can also use paper, but it might work out better if you have a canvas because we're going to use acrylic paint. And I want you to have some white paint. We're going to use quite a bit of white paint, some yellow, blue, different kinds of browns and different kinds of greens and some red. Okay, now you're going to also need some paint brushes. You might want to have a large paint brush. I also got a stencil brush that's going to come in handy if you have like a really stiff round stencil brush and then some small ones we're going to need to be able to paint some of our apples okay and then make sure you have some water and i like to have a rag too so okay you boys and girls gather up your supplies and i'll see you in a few minutes bye bye okay boys and girls do you have your things together you have a canvas or some paper you have your paints and brushes and some water. Make sure you have a good rag and an apron on too. Okay, the first one, the first paint I want you to get is some blue. And it doesn't exactly have to be this color blue as long as you have some blue. And plenty of white. You notice I put two big squirts of white there and some yellow. All right. So we're going to do the background. And when we do a tree or anything like this, it comes in layers. So we start from the the uh, area that's going to be the furthest away from us. So we're going to paint our background all first, all right? So I want you to use your big brush, okay? And I want you to gather, it's a little closer to you, and I want you to put some white on your brush. Quite a bit of white. And we're just going to paint a big circle right here in the middle, okay? Just go ahead and paint a big circle of white like this. Okay, like that. All right. All right, I'm just gonna smear that out a little bit. All right, now, don't worry about, don't worry about uh, washing your paintbrush off. That's not necessary right now. Now I want you to get some yellow. Now, I don't want, I want this to stay white. We want the center to stay white. So don't put your yellow in the middle. Go around the outside of of your big white circle and I want you to go around just go right around all right just like this okay all right now I want you to rinse your brush off because we want we're going to put the blue on now and that's going to be our sky Make sure your brush is clean. That's why it's kind of important to have a rag to dry it off to make sure you get all your paint off. Now I'm gonna get some blue and we're going to go around this way and just, and just paint all the rest of the area blue, right? You may wanna get a little bit of white on it too. Well, if you like it to be like more of a sky blue, okay. And just go all the way around and cover your whole canvas. It's important that you don't leave any. See how this is white here? Make sure your whole canvas is covered in paint. I've seen too many times children will just go like like sitting friends like this and not cover it all up. You need it's important when you paint, especially on a canvas, 
that you don't leave any of the canvas showing. You want it all covered. So take your time and cover your whole canvas up. Okay. Are you guys enjoying the fall weather? We are having just beautiful weather here lately. Beautiful blue skies and cool nights. You notice how I got a little bit of yellow there. It's okay. But blue and yellow, what color does that make? Yeah, it makes green. We try to just, we want the blue to stay blue and the yellow to stay yellow. But it's okay if we kind of blend it just a little bit around the edges. Okay, let's go ahead and do your whole canvas like that. Okay, now this is going to have to dry for a few minutes. So I'm going to turn off the video and oh, well, you finish painting yours, okay? And I'll see you back in a few minutes to make sure, children, that you cover your entire canvas, though, so you don't see any white canvas. All right, I'll see you back in a few minutes. Hey, boys and girls, did you finish doing that part? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. My canvas is not quite dry, but I think that it is dry enough. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Now the next colors we're gonna need are some browns and you can put several different colors of browns. I even added a touch of black, but you have to be very careful with black because it's so strong that it'll overwhelm your picture. So you have to be very careful how much you add. Okay, so the next step to this project is to add a branch. We're gonna start over on the very left hand side and we're going to just take your brush and we're going to just draw a line just like a swervy curvy line okay so matter of fact i think i'm going to start with just so i can outline it first just with a small brush okay so just get some brown paint on your paintbrush like this and i'm going to start about right here about close to the middle, but a little lower than the middle of the page, or your canvas. And then I'm going to go like this. And as you get to the top up here, you you leave uh, lift your brush up so it's not pressing down so hard because you want to have it thinner. Okay, and then I'm gonna do another one down here and we're gonna make this branch kind of curvy. Now I want it, it's always, branches are always wider at the base of the closest to the trunk of the tree and then it gets really small okay so we're going to start over here again that's the trunk and then it gets smaller and kind of curvy and then it's going to go up okay like that i'm just going to kind of outline it first because we're going to add some branches too so we're going to have lots of branches try not to get your clothes painted like like i do all the time and just don't press down very hard. Just kind of light. And remember, it's, over here it's a little wider. Closer to the trunk, the tree. And then we're going to add another, just add them anywhere you kind of randomly want them. You can kind of see that my, my paint is not very dry. That's all right, I think. Then I'm going to add another one going way up here. I might have to let it dry a little bit more. Okay. I'll get that lines done so you can get started. All right, there's another one, and I'm going to have another one down here. I'm just going to kind of add them randomly everywhere. All right, you having fun? Just go ahead and just randomly put them, your branches anywhere you want. All right, we're gonna have to paint them all in, of course. All right. All right, so, all right. You go ahead and get started on that. I'm gonna put it on pause again. I can tell that my paint is still too wet. So I'm just gonna go do an errand or something and come back, but I'll be back in a few minutes so we can work on this. Okay, bye-bye. Okay, children, I think we're ready to try to do this again. Okay, so I'm just gonna take 
some of my brown paint and I'm going to just paint this branch in with my brown paint. You can do the same. Just go ahead and paint your branch. And it's okay if um, you want to use a, just a little bit of different color brown in there too, just to kind of give it some more color. Okay. And then I think I'm going to just do like this. Well, remember we're doing layers. So this is the back, the very furthest part of this branch. We're going to add some leaves and then maybe some a few more branches. So I'll just go ahead and paint this branch how you like it. I'm going to add this branch up here. Yeah. There you go. You know, I was just thinking how I when I used to paint with oil, it would take days sometimes for you know, just one layer of paint to dry, and then I'd have to then do it again. It was, oil painting takes a lot of patience, so that's why I prefer to use acrylic. It dries so much faster than oil paint. Well, I prefer to use acrylic, because maybe sometimes I'm a little impatient. All right, there we go. There's that. And then remember, as you get further out on the tree, the thinner the branch is. All right, so just, you may want to use a smaller brush. Also, if you turn your brush so it's up and down like this, so you, you have a thinner area, a uh, little less brush that goes onto your canvas. Okay, so like when I come up here and I want this thinner, I'm raising my br brush up like vertical so it's not flat, making it wider. So I'm doing it like this. And then as I get out to the end, I don't put very much pressure on my brush. And, and it's less, okay? All right, and then see how it's wider here? That you start out and then you go thinner. So then I think I'm gonna change over to a smaller brush. Maybe like this one. And I'm gonna just go ahead and paint. Just go ahead and just, it doesn't have to look just like mine at all. Because you know how nature is. Nature is everything is a little different, isn't it? So all about how you want to do it. All right. But see how I took up most of the page though? Because we're going to put, this is just an app, one of the branches from the apple tree. I try to like to think about what it would look like if I was just sitting on the edge. Fine, like I climbed up an apple tree and I was just looking out over one of the branches. All right, that's how you, maybe you can think about it. What would that look like? All right. Okay. We're going to add some more on as we go along, but right now this is the fat, the first layer of your branch. All right, there we go. Now you might want to just add so you can have little depths. So it looks like shadows or bark on your tree. You can add different colors of brown onto your, onto the branch. So it's just not flat. Okay. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of black. Remember what I said about black. You don't want to add too much because it can overwhelm your painting. All right. Just kind of brush it on where you like it. Okay, the next step we're going to do is we're going to add we're gonna add some of our leaves, okay? And this is where you're gonna want probably a stencil brush or a very stiff brush. Okay. All right, I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, boys and girls, go rinse out your, your um, 
your tray or at least get another tray. You may come back and you're probably going to need this again. So maybe you might not want to brush, rinse it out, but you're going to need at least a, a clean spot to put some of your green paint. Okay. So go ahead and rinse out your brushes really well and then get some different colors of green and maybe even a touch of yellow. All right. I'll see you in a minute. Hey boys and girls, are you ready to begin? Okay, so I have some green paint. I got some different colors. I even add a little yellow and white there. And it'd be nice to have a good stencil brush that had nice round stiff bristles on the end would be handy. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding some leaves to your tree and we're gonna start by putting them at the very top of the branches. Don't put any down here around the trunk of the tree or the base of the tree. Just let's add some here. We're not gonna cover a lot yet because we're going to add some apples so just go ahead and push your brush straight down we're not going to uh brush it like this we're going to st like stamp it on the tree okay so get some right here and then you can add even like different colors so it's different layers and i'm going to stamp it i'm just going to start on the outside like this and just kind of stamp it like this and then and just do it on the outside of the branches first. Like this. If you want to grab a little bit of yellow even if you want. Not a lot, just a little bit because the sun is shining through. I'm just going to stamp it as I go around. Just do the very tops of your branches right now. bit of the dark in there too because of some shadows okay don't worry about do, being um don't do a lot right now because we're going to add some um we want to add some apples to it okay so i just want to get a start on putting some branches i mean some leaves on your Okay, so that's just all that's all we do right now. Let's go ahead and add rinse your rinse your brush out. Okay, and set it aside. Now I want you to get some red paint. Oh, I'm out of space, aren't I? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna just use the top of this, but if you have something you can put yours on, that would be good. I'm just gonna do it just like that. All right, now you're gonna need a small brush. To do this we want we don't want our apples too big and just get some red paint on your brush and choose anywhere you want want to go and just make a circle like this just like that not too big not too small and just go around your tree and put some apples sometimes apples grow in clusters so you can Add them, you can add them anywhere you want on your tree. And just like this, oh, how fun. Boy, I do remember eating some honey crisp and Fuji apples and Granny, is it Granny Smith's? What is that? I can't remember. Anyway, lots of fun apples to eat. All right, it just kind of depends on how many apples you want on your tree. But most of them hang from the ends of the tree. You don't see apples hanging from this end, do you? Just from the branches. So let's just put the apples on the branches of the tree, okay? Just like that. Just go around your, your tree like that. Right, and then you decide when you want to stop. And then we're going to need to let this dry for a few minutes, okay? So I'm going to stop here in a minute because I'm going to add, some, we can add some more later. We're going to add some more leaves, some more apples, some more branches. All right, I'm going to put this on pause now. I'm going to let this dry and I'll come back and see you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, kids, did you add some more branches to your tree? 
Hey, you can put it as long as many as you want. Unless we're just going to go back now and use your stencil brush again. Get some paint on the very end of your brush and just stamp. Stamp it around. Get a little, some different colors. Don't smear it. Just stamp. All right? Just like that. Just do like you're doing a stamp on paper. Up and then back down. And do just the ends, around the ends of each of your branches. You can see that I put branches down here too. So we're going to add some paint down here as well. Those leaves are on all of the branches. And I'm going to just fill it in a little bit. Oh, you can see I accidentally got a little white on there, but that's okay. Right, let's see what the light's coming through. All right, and just go ahead and have fun stamping your your painting all over, and then we're going to add a few more apples, and then we're going to stamp again. Okay, so okay, let's. Uh, sometimes we can get carried away with the stamping, I think, but I'm going to stop now. And I'm going to add a few more apples. So go ahead and get your smaller brush, get a little water on your brush, and then just put a few more apples around. Right? Put some apples on all my branches. Boy, this one is full of Beautiful red apples. Okay, now, what I want you to do next, after you finish doing that, I want you to take a little bit of white paint, just a touch on the end of your brush, just a little bit. And then I want you to kind of touch some of your apples like this, just a little bit, like that. It'll help make the apples look more like they're round. Okay, and you don't have to even do it to all of them but most of them probably just kind of go like that, like you're outlining a little bit. Just a little, just a little curvy mark like that, one on one side and one on the other. See, kind of makes it look like the apples are round. And we want to have round apples. So I'm gonna go around to around most all of them, I think. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to, I'm going to add some more leaves. All right. Okay. I guess I probably did it to all of them because I like it better like that. All right. So let's add some more leaves. More leaves all the way around it. You can kind of go out because maybe you won't see all the branches. Just kind of fill in your your tree how you think it looks best. Okay, I'm going to work on this. I want you to too, and I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, be right back. Okay, kids, after you finish stamping all your leaves on, we just want to add some highlights. You see that I kind of put some white there already, but you can add a little bit of black and just kind of Put some streaks so it looks like there's some bark on your tree down here by the bottom like that just like that and you can add a little bit of white and maybe if you have some different color brown and you can just add a few two a few lines in it to give it some more texture so it doesn't look quite so flat okay you can do that and then i think it might be fun to add a little owl. So all you do for that is just get some of your brown paint. And right here, if you have a spot. You may not have a spot on your, I haven't have a spot that I kind of want to fill in. So I'm going to do it right here. And I'm going to go like this and make like a little U. Might end up using black. Like a little U. And then I'm going to put a little round 
the little round head right there. Little round head. And then I'm going to make a bigger, like a snowman, right down here at the bottom. And then like this. So it starts off kind of like that. And then I'm going to get some black paint. And I'm going to make the wings. So I'm going to go like this, just kind of a couple curves right there. And I'm going to kind of outline it a little bit. Get some more black and kind of outline it. All right. Put a little couple claws up there. And then we need to add some eyes. So need some white. I think I used all my white. Might need a little bit of white here. I'll get a little white here. I want to add a circle there and a circle there. I want to also add really small here. I'm going to add a little bit of white on it. Swings right here. Kind of curvy thing. So it looks like feathers. Okay, then. And, and then I'll just, as soon as that dries, I'll put a black dot in the middle of his eye. It kind of makes it kind of look more fall too, right? Okay, kids. I sure hope you had fun doing this project. Remember to click the subscribe button. And I really want to see your painting. So please um, make sure that you take a picture of yours i love seeing all your artwork take a picture and go to the red elephant art gallery on facebook and post your painting oh don't forget his nose got a little nose probably going on there too a little beak okay how's that okay kids i think we're all done make sure you sign your painting down here in the right hand corner is usually where most artists do it. Okay, right down here. Okay, there I go. I'm gonna paint sign mine. There you go. I had so much fun. Kids, okay, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye. We can make a rain. Red and